The following is a disclaimer for prizes given out on WFAB radio and television. WFAB may occasionally award prizes to its listeners and viewers. Prize winners must adhere to the rules and regulations we will now read to you. For a written copy of these rules, take out a pen and paper and begin writing quickly now. Only one prize may be one per family per day. For example, anyone named Tolton or related to someone named Tolton is considered one family. When prompted, contestants with last names beginning with A through S may call today. Contestants with last names T through Z may call tomorrow. All prizes must be picked up by the winner within 15 minutes of the contest at the WFAB studios. Prizes may be arranged to be held in check for the day in our studio with a baggage handling fee of $15 per prize. In the case of a live animal prize, the winner is responsible for food and cleanup costs. If the prize is an autographed picture of a WFAB announcer or character, this can be faxed or sent as an email attachment to the winner. Contestants must present some form of legal identification to pick up prizes, such as birth certificates or green cards, and must be wearing a shirt, shoes, and flag lapel pin. Prizes cannot be substituted for their cash value, but you're welcome to try to sell them later on eBay or a yard sale on your own time. In case of a tie, prizes will be cut in half with equal portions presented to each winner. Winners are responsible for all taxes, including federal, state, local school sales, and gas. Void were prohibited by law. A warning, winning a prize from WFAB may cause sudden physical changes for the winner. Changes may include rapid heartbeat, repeated laughter, or general excitement. If this persists for more than four hours, please see your doctor. Any caller who gets excited at winning a prize and accidentally uses a four-letter expletive on the WFAB air will be subject to fines by the FCC. WFAB staff and guest characters are not eligible to win prizes. However, if prizes are not claimed by the winners in the allotted time stated before, staff members and guests can take whatever they want. A prize must be used for the purpose for which it was intended, and winners are responsible to follow safety regulations. For example, if the prize is a ladder, the top rung is not a step, and the ladder should not be used in quicksand. Per the rules designated by the Supreme Court, WFAB does not have the right to restrict usage if the prize is a gun. If the prize is a car, there will be special rules mumbled rapidly on WFAB radio or flashed on the screen in small print on WFAB TV at the time of the contest. Please follow all directions on the prize package. Winners may also select to have prizes delivered by UPS. UPS will wait until you leave your house, then stop and leave a note saying they tried to deliver today, and they will try two more times when you are also not at home. You will eventually get a note telling you to go and pick up the prize at their warehouse. WFAB will not award prizes to terrorists or suspected terrorists. Thanks to regional legislation, as a telecommunications company, WFAB may choose to tap the phones of all contestants without their approval or knowledge to determine if they're terrorists or not. WFAB has the right to change rules at any time for any reason without being sued, or worse, being called a flip-flop. In the case of a hearing on any prize disputes, WFAB management retains the right to ignore subpoenas under the claim of executive privilege. Thank you for listening to these rules concerning prizes. WFAB has no immediate plans to award prizes today, but should we decide to do so in the future, thank you for your cooperation in following these rules. We now return to our regular program. WFAB. WFAB.